Alrighty, Juanitosville, this is the box ring that we made in the previous video. This video is, we're going to dress this up and do some cool stuff with it. Not sure exactly what we're going to do yet, <clears throat> but I cut it out of this template that I uh, offer to send to anybody that wants it. This is actually a size 11. This makes a size 8.5 if you use the small ring as the inside ring. On this ring, I use the outside ring as the inside ring, so I, I inverted it, and it turned out to be a size 9.5. So this is a size 9.5 when you take the short ring, and instead of using it for the inside ring, you use the long ring for the inside ring. <clears throat> I don't know what the conversion is on that, but I don't like to think about numbers too much. So we're going to dress this, and I don't know what to do. Uh round wire that just goes like connects right here and goes over the edge like like waves i think that would look cool i don't know if... so this is the my favorite part of jewelry is like looking at it it's a blank canvas and it's like what what do i want to do i don't know man i'm gonna think about it and i'll let you guys know what i think i think i thought of something friends uh I like the idea of laying wire across the face of this. Think about if I use square wire. See how that creates a lift? Can you guys see that lift that it creates? You guys can see behind there, there's space. I should probably have this on this side because I'm left-handed. Some of this stuff you gotta stand up for, man. You gotta get down. You gotta get your thighs into it. There's got to be a better way, dude. I'm, yo, like, oh, buddy. Let's look at that and see if that looks like it would be. And I have this Band-Aid on my thumb because I'm not very safe. OSHA would shut me down. Can I drop a few? Okay. That's super dumb. I was trying to demonstrate, but I don't need to do that. You guys are artists. Look at this. I'm going to go like this. I'm gonna bend them all the way down on both sides. Bam, it's gonna make the top kind of pop up and create some depth. And that's this that's the plan, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So see how that is looking. Make sure I have good hanger hangage overage. I could just use my finger, in fact. And if it's hard, then I want some of them to cross over. I want some of them to be kind of crisscross. I want some of them to be on top. Maybe I'll do a first layer. And then once I get those layers, that's part of the creative process, guys, is we think in, we think in order of operation. I do. And I'm sure you guys do too. You know, it's like, okay, what's gonna go first? What has a chance of possibly like inform them? That's how it's gonna have to be, guys. Ooh, that's gonna be so cool. Alrighty, hermits. Uh, this is a creative crossroads where we're at, where I have all these placed and they look really good and I would like to just stick, stick those there. And I probably could, but I'm gonna take the time and take all these off. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna pinch these. I'm gonna pinch these a little bit towards the end so that when I put them on there, they're gonna fit a little tight. These little details, that's gonna make the, the finished product just a little bit better. And in fact, what I'm going to do now that I thought about it is go through with my small file and just file all of these down that I clipped because they all have a little bit of pinch from the the shear snippers that I use to, to shear them. These guys, I don't know what they're called. I think they're called shear. I don't know, but they've these bad boys have cut me a couple times. <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean this up, just get ready. This is, man, Melanie is gonna be so proud of me when she watches this part. I could use a bigger file because that little guy, I gotta... 
that's like trying to drink and drive in a really narrow lane. You want a bigger, fatter lane. Okay, I need a better system. That's too flimsy. I don't know how I did it earlier. Probably with tweezers. My big old fat fingers all in the way. There we go. Use your tools. The top ones are gonna have to have a little bit of a different bend. We're gonna do this in layers. Looks pretty. <clears throat> I don't want them to be too parallel. Then they start to kind of go over. We're gonna try that. All right, guys, I got a couple of these on. I got them tacked on one side, but like right here, I'm trying to, this was hanging off the edge, so I had to bring it back. I'm embarrassed to say this, but I ran out of solder. So I have to find little, I'm busy, find little chips that I dropped in here throughout the years. And look, man, there's enough solder for me to finish this project as I wait for my new solder to uh, arrive. It's still pretty warm because I get impatient and I want to work on it um, when it's still kind of warm. Got a little bit of a solder mess right here, but I'm gonna clean, that's gonna be able to be cleaned up. I mean, I prefer not to have to, you know what I mean? Like if I could think ahead and not make these errors, but it's when you're doing a design that there's no one's that you've never seen before you know i could have put solder up the top i could have put solder these together on the top going down i tr i chose to try to attack the solder right here where they touch but who knows if that was the right decision guys you know whenever you're innovating every decision is the wrong decision just get right in there. See, I don't know. I hope I have it zoomed in enough so you can see this. Get the heat going. It's all pretty hot. It's going inside. Just flash the inside a little bit. There's some mass here. There we go. There we go. Okay, that got. Oh no! It jumped onto the wire. Dang, it went on the wire again too. I would like to just. Dang. Didn't do this. I'm not doing very well right now, guys. Okay, I think I got that. So this is what we have right here, guys. I just quenched it so I can handle it. That's what I expected. So we're gonna add some more. This is cool the way it is, but man, you can see that space back there. But we're gonna clean up these edges and I'm gonna add a few more, so. All right, guys, so uh, just to let you know kind of what I go through when I do this, um, I'm put, I put this down and this one is I'm talking, I'm referring to this, this one right here. I like it on that side, but on this side, I had to bend it in. See how I bent that half round to go in so that it makes contact with the, with the edge. So this is kind of like, as you're 
doing this, you realize, oh shit, it needs to be longer, but then it also needs to be able to hug over the top. So you have to, you, these are the little things as a designer and as an artist where you're like, okay, at the time, we just kind of think on the fly. And right there, we're like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna be good with that contact right there. And I'm good with this contact right here. All right, homies, we did this. Man, look at that. That looks really cool on the sides. Um, I kind of feel like we could add one more over here. If you look at the profile, see it's kind of high on this side, but on this side, it's a little bit low. Um, so I say we add another one right here just to give it some balance that way. All on there, everything is on there. Think. Oh shit, that one's not. Damn. Well, that's all right. We'll get it on the next time whenever we do the other one. All right, guys. I put some flux right there, and I'm gonna put some flux on this other side. So I'm almost out. Last drops. Good. 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 Get it hot again. All right, right here. I have my last uh, three pieces of solder to my name. So we're gonna finish this off with these last three pieces of solder, hopefully only using two. Bring everything to temperature, nice and slow, big circles. Wire to get hot first, the big part, not the wire. So I'm gonna lay this once I feel like we're close. The shiny wire you guys see is the wire I'm trying to make connected. Okay, I think we're close. Okay, that melted the wrong way. I'm not sure we made a contact there. Um, man, that is a disaster. Okay, I think we got that side. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Well, it's still hot. Flash this side. And a little bit of a red glow on the big part of the ring, not the wires. Okay. Try to lay this down. There we go, there we go. We got it. I'm gonna stay with me just a little longer. Okay, cool. Man, that's, I could get that to run a little bit more, I think. Let me direct it. That was a big piece, too, maybe too big of a piece of solder. There we go, there we go. I can live with that. So I took it out of the uh, pickle and this is what it's looking like. A little rough, but we'll clean it up and we'll take a really, get a good look at it and then start smoothing this stuff out. And deciding actually if we want to add more, I don't know. I'm not uh, convinced that we're finished yet. We'll see. Somebody call the doctor a brand new piece of sandpaper. Ooh, buddy. Not hobo sandpaper like we normally use. Now we're going all out, friends. Going all out. We want it to be a comfortable fit. In and out of purses, in and out of pockets. Already feels a lot smooth. So what do you guys think about on the sides here if I do some kind of designs right there? So I'm going to clean all this stuff up, but before I do that, maybe I'll do, put some designs in it. That way, whenever I clean all this stuff up, and then whenever I mess up my, on my designs, I'll clean that off too at the same time. So that would be a good order of operation. Do the, the designs and then clean. Because if you clean, then you're going to take some material away and then you're going to do your design, mess up a little bit on your design and then have to clean that and then take more material away. Ooh, buddy. So right here, guys, we're just going to do the first line. You really got to have faith in your saw game a little bit. And that becomes what we're going to do for the other side. 
All right, guys, you guys can see that. And you can see that there's like some solder mass and just even from the filing before I even put these on, I hadn't I hadn't uh, sanded or cleaned it up. So it's there's still file, file marks right there. And there's file marks throughout this whole thing because it's I didn't do that too early. Sometimes I do that early in the game and then I have to do it again. And I'm like, I wish I didn't do it earlier. So order of operations. Revealing the beauty, friends. Revealing the beauty. Progress. Go through those lines again. Maybe even with the file and just make them really pronounced. Ooh, that's going to be cool. So we went over with the saw blade, friends. And now we're going to use the triangle file. We've got a good edge here. And we're just going to reinforce these lines. Reinforce these lines. Super uh, janky right now, but we're getting there. Okay, Aussie Nation, we are here with the final ish. Still has some scratches. Um, still needs some work, but I'm pleased with um, aesthetics of it. Couple scratches where I, my saw blade skipped or my file skipped. Um, but this is gonna be so cool when we put it in the liver of sulfur and then the black gets in there and then we kind of reverse paint the black off and then everything is stuck. Things can be a little bit smoother. That's This side's really smooth. This side is pretty smooth too, but, but that's kind of it guys. The next uh, part of this video is gonna be the music montage. Nobody seems to like, but uh, I think it looks cool because the piece is the star and we got to have every star needs a video, right? Um, as always, subscribe if you like hanging out with me. Thanks for uh, going through this adventure with me. And uh, until next time, man. Boom, 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 boom.